Welcome to this episode of Video Drone. We're out here on Lake Huron and we're going to fly on the Lee H. Agurtha out there. So uh, this is the wife ship to the Paul A. Tagurtha, which the Paul A. is the largest ship, uh, freshwater ship on the Great Lakes. So we're going to take this up. We're a bit windy out here today, so we're really not going to go far out. We're just going to try to get some altitude on this guy. So I'm going to go ahead and attempt to take off. So we got the spark in the air. I'm gonna start video, whoops. I'm gonna start video recording. I got video recording going again. I got, uh, just try to get some altitude. She's a little bit windy today, so I'm not really gonna try taking her out too much. Um, this is probably at the top of the wind. So I'm up there about 65 feet and we got the video going of her out there. And we're just gonna track it down. So I've flown on, I've flown on the Lee before. Uh, actually the Lee A. Tegurtha has quite the history back even to World War II and she's been a retrofitted um, actually a uh, warship so I think she was a tanker during World War II if I remember correctly and then later I think in the 60s she was retrofitted to be a Great Lakes freighter and she's gone through a couple evolutions a lot of the uh, Great Lakes freighters actually go through um, several different evolutions in their life you know because basically you know the the gist of them are big large metal hull so usually their engines are retrofitted and things like that over time and uh, so they just keep going you know electronics avionics sort of like the b-52s and the 747s and all those guys you know that have lasted for many many years because you know the basic hull is you know nothing but a metal hull in the case of plain aluminum and these guys you know steel so uh, anyway beautiful setting out there of the Lee against the uh, clouds and the blue water uh, I want to gimbal up a little bit and uh, we have the uh, the video sort of froze the copter is still up there but my uh, videos froze so hopefully I got video going on the copter I got a counting down there <clears throat> excuse me clear my throat it seems to be going again it's a bit cold out here too so you can see it's entering the buoys going down and uh, again I want to just try to get gimbaled up a little bit I guess I'm all gimbaled all the way up now I have that new YK polarizing filter on here that you've seen in a prior flight and uh, this thing's really doing a great job I love the reds and the contrast that it's giving me I actually like this better than the polar pro that I've been using so uh, I guess I need to kind of stick it down a little bit more as uh, the Lee passes by so again some great videos I just wish it was a little bit warmer out here folks we're getting on winter so the drone season or the days of droning are you know quickly sort of coming to a, a limit if you will I typically fly throughout the winter uh, I will be out here flying the ice and things like that um, I got the ghost drone I think as many of you have seen I won't be flying the spark over the ice that much if any uh, just because of the risk and the temperature so uh, I'm already a little bit concerned about the 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 temperature that this is flying in and everything so uh, anyways uh, because right now it's about 45 degrees and I know if it gets too cold it starts complaining now the battery life has been pretty good even in the cold so again look at that and you can see the wind with the smoke coming out of the lee um, out of its engine so quite the impressive sight quite the impressive sight so getting a large wind warning so again I'm not taking it really too far out there because I want to be careful I'm still actually over the beach uh, whoo it's a cold one today but um, hey what I'll do for my audience getting out here getting videos of ships flying the spark letting you guys see how it all works and so hey that's what it's all about you know I tell you what you know this spark so far outside of the magnetic interference issues now in this flight I haven't really seen them yet knock on wood 
Um, so I, I don't know what's going on with that. But ever since the last upgrade, 7.1.6 or something like that, been having a lot of magnetic interference issues. So we're going to watch it head down to the bridge. Still got a lot of battery life, even for being as cold as it is. Uh, I'm really excited to really check out this footage as we uh, kind of get back in and get it on the computer. Wow, that is a sight, folks. Now we, we have the ship framed with the lighthouse. That's a keeper. That's a keeper right there. And we got the bridge and the lighthouse. I tell you what, I live in a fantastic place, folks. You know, I travel for my job. But I tell you what, when I'm home, this is just a fantastic location. And the crazy part about it is, is I, I'm sort of a transplant. I decided to come here. But a lot of the, the locals that have been lifers here really, really miss, you know, what, what they have up here. Because this is just really a great locale. I'm, you know, block off the water. Um, I was on the water for a while. Sort of a pain in the butt to be on the water, to be honest with you. So I'm about to block off the water now. And just, you know, great people, great location, great everything. And, and so access to a lot of stuff and, uh, yeah, great community. So, you know, Port Huron area, if you guys are looking to move to Michigan, consider it, I guess. That was sponsored by the Blue Water Area Chamber of Commerce or something, probably. Just joking in case they're watching. They didn't sponsor that. Anyways, the Lee, she's heading down there. Look at those clouds over the bridge. This filter, at least the way it's coming across on the phone, I am blown away. I'll have links to this filter down below. But I tell you what, I am just so super impressed with this guy. So uh, we'll watch it come back down a little more. I think this is going to be a big one. I'm going to probably bring this one back in a few minutes just uh, because it is cold out here and there's not too much more we can really see as it passes by the Coast Guard station. So I tell you what, let's bring it back down. And sorry if I'm getting wind noise. And there we are. And uh, let's do a pan around. I'm getting a little jerkiness too since this. Uh, You know, one of the things I just noticed as I'm panning it around, I have to look at the video, but I think it dropped out of GPS mode during the pan. And I think that's when um, most, of, most of it dropping out of the GPS mode has been happening is when uh, I've been doing, not sorry, pans, yaws. Uh, I think that's probably when most of it's been happening. Let's do this again. Let's do a quick yaw. I want to watch it didn't cut my head off. No, nope, no, nope, it's not dropping out here. So I'm going to have to go back and look at the video footage. See what's going on. But that filter is still, still very much on there. So anyways, I'm going to cut the video here for this one, folks. So I tell you what, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you like and subscribe. Let me know what you're thinking about for lunch. And we'll catch you in the next video because I I want to do some other pictures with this while it's still in the air. So I'll see you guys later. Cheers.